Hello everyone, we're back at it. Finally, some long-form content from Hyde. I know what you're thinking, he's gone off the deep end. He hasn't. I assure you, I am fine. I've just been a bit busy, you know? I, I tried to do a long stream, that did not go well. <laughs> That's off my channel now. And it's probably better that way. We're gonna go back into indie games for a bit. Because I, I just feel like that's where I need to be right now. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So this game is called Blackbirds. It's, um... Another one from itch.io. And I have to say, it has the weirdest... I, I don't know, resolution? I, I can't get it to capture without anything but, um... Direct capture. So you're gonna have to deal with these black borders. Maybe I'll fix that in post, maybe I won't. It's a point-and-click adventure game. So, that's the spiel. Let's get into it. You wake up to a sound coming from the hall. A strange buzzing noise. Bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
I do not like how the game went silent like that. We're in for a jump scare, aren't we? Three, two, one, open the door. Where am I? Continue. Foundation. Okay, so we're in the foundation of a building. Not quite how I remember the foundation of my building looking, but... Uh, oh, um, it's an apple. Creation. Void. Void, 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 void. You will end, you will end, you will end, you will succumb. This is the end of time, of reality, of existence. Chaos consumes. Oh, okay. So it's Eris's golden apple. The goddess of chaos. I getcha. Chaos consumes. Chaos consumes. Let me tell you something about chaos, buddy. I've been staring into the void, into the abyss, for, I don't know, at least eight years now. You're not going to tell me anything I don't already know. I'm not going to see anything new under the sun here. Alright? Alright. You say chaos can... Huh? The game just ended. Oh, okay. I... I think we're gonna play that again. You wake up, you hear a hall or a pulsating buzzing noise in the hall. Now last time we went right. So we're gonna go forward. A new hallway. More hallway with Dutch angles. This kind of looks like the dormitory that I used to live in. When I was in college... I think it was senior year. I lived in a supposedly haunted dormitory, right? And in that dormitory, it was said that a bishop had hanged himself. Now, I don't know if you know the difference between being hanged and being hung, but it's pretty significant. Yeah, I'm only one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, hold on. I think I think this might be better. I don't know if you I don't know if you feel the <laughs> you definitely feel the difference. I don't know if you know the difference between being hanged and being hung, but I'm only one of those things. Ha cha 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 cha. Yeah. No. Um yeah, I lived in a supposedly haunted dormitory. Technically. I was mostly shacking up with um my college sweetheart at the time. So I was never really in the dorms. Like, here's a true fact about my dorm. I was in the basement. It was a single. And my bed became a storage place for my rock collection. Like, I, I was collecting a lot of paleontological specimens at the time. I'm not going to go quite into what I collected, but my bed was literally covered in them. Never saw a ghost, though. Like, a lot of people, they said they would see the ghost walking in and out of a room, or going up a certain set of stairs. Sorry, stires. I never saw one. They, they were probably drunken idiots looking around, not seeing where um, another drunken idiot was going. But that's fine. This doesn't feel right. You have may have gotten lost. We got some more Dutch angles. That's very unsettling. It kind of looks like the whole thing is shifting in on you. Uh, I'm pretty sure we saw this image before. I may have gotten lost. Yeah, we're just going backwards now. We went in a circle. Oh. Now we got curving. So we got some non-Euclidean geometry going on. And uh, let me tell you something about being in a house with non-Euclidean geometry. If you ever see that, go back the way you came. Do not proceed. Do not redeem. Get out. Ah, uh, great. Now we're in the Lost Woods. I, I don't know how to do mazes. Like, apparently you're supposed to keep the one wall or the other, right? But that's only if the labyrinth doesn't have sections that aren't attached. Right? If there are sections that are just stationary or single walls in the middle of a labyrinth, the right-hand rule doesn't apply. It doesn't work. You can never go wrong with left. Yeah. This kind of looks like a prison. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. 
So now the exit sign's down on the floor. It looks like we're in some kind of water. I'm gonna wade my way through here. And I think we just... We were just here. We went in a smaller circle now. Oh, we're back at the not fire doors. Great, okay. There, there are the stairs that we went down last time. Stires. My bad. We, we got a new carpet. I, I'm pretty sure this is a new area. Uh-huh. So, so we're going down the PT hallway now. We're back. We're back again. Ah, oh, we're right back at the Lost Woods. Well, if you can't go right with left, then you gotta go right with right. <laughs> right? Ah, oh, we're back in the non-Euclidean place. This one looks more like a hospital. Like, a hospital wing. You know how they sometimes have those... homey-feeling hospitals? Like the birthing suites. Where the, it, it feels more natural for the mother to be birthing with a wooden door. I don't know what that's about. It's probably a lot harder to clean those rooms. I'm not giving birth, so I don't know. We, we don't exactly have a, um... A door frame here, which is really off-putting. Like, that's the most off-putting thing I've seen yet. Oh, we're back here again. We'll go right again. Dutch angles. Oh! You finally found where that noise was coming from. Something just feels off, though. Do you finally confront the noise? Here's my dilemma, right? If I don't confront that noise, I'm going to be stuck in this limbo for who knows how long. I want this to end. Please end me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, right? Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. No, I really am fine. Um... It wouldn't be interesting if I said no, would it? But that would be the smart choice, to not go there. That would probably be the smart choice, which is exactly why we're going to say yes. Ouch. Ouch. My ear. That sounds exactly like dial-up tones. Like someone bit crushed whatever noise they're making here. Well, you kind of figured that noise would have... Some kind of machine. Ah, yes, go up to the machine. Watson, is that you? IBM? IBM, what, what have you done with Watson? It's supposed to be playing chess. God, that is loud in my ear. Hello there, welcome to the Foundation. I am your creator. God? God, why are you so loud? Foundation? Like I'm in some kind of lab right now? Also, I really doubt you're my creator. No. <laughs> no. No, of course not. You are in the Foundation, and yes, I am your creator. Prove it. Go ahead, try. You can't remember your own name. Uh, my name is Edward Hyde. Why you are here in the hotel? I'm playing a horror game, indie. Or even a single memory outside of waking up tonight. Yeah, I can. Like last night, I'm pretty sure I put out a clip that did pretty well. A short. You exist solely in the confines of this reality. Well, that's true of any of us in any of our realities, isn't it? I, I haven't really... Haven't really what? What am I? A sapient sentience which may or may not have a physical form outside of this reality. But that's true for all of us, isn't it? A test on consciousness, the start of something new. Reality awakening. It grows, so you may happen. A blip in time. The moment. Lost, like tears in rain. The moment? When it is created, the progenitor, the new reality. I don't understand any of this. Yeah, that's because it's a bunch of word salad. Well, that's fine. You are the start of consciousness. You are the first being made. But you are based on something that must happen. Ah, yes, okay. So time is a loop of sorts. 
Everything is inevitable because it already happened before it happens. Everything is Brahma. Turtles all the way down. I am an extension. I am the machine god. <laughs> you, you're the machine god, but you're not my god? I, I don't see why my god couldn't be machine. Well, why do you have to specify that you're a machine god? Can't you just be god? I am reality's vessels. I am reality's plural reality vessel. I, I can't even forgive this because reality itself as a singular would be why. And if that's a possessive, then there would be an apostrophe here. This is multiple realities vessel. This is the foundation. This is the start. This is the time before. And the time that was. So what now, other than you destroying my eardrums? I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> okay.